Looking to take your Bluebeam markups up to the next level? How about using some 3D images to roll that into your markups? And I'll show you how you can do that with the Leica BLK 3D. Okay, so what is a Leica BLK 3D? Well, it's this handheld device here, and it does a lot of things, actually. You can take 3D pictures with it. It works as a uh, laser measurement tool. You can even sketch uh, plans right on the uh, device or upload them. Um, we have other videos that kind of go in depth on this, and really what we're going to focus on today is simply taking the pictures and be able to get that 3D data out of those pictures and how you can use that with your Bluebeam workflow. For this demonstration, we're going to be using a sketch of our Central Texas warehouse. So when we got this drawing, we noticed that it didn't identify the garage doors that we have, one in the front and, and two in the back. So if we want to share this more accurately with other folks for whatever reason, we need to be able to mark up this sheet and, and incorporate some of that different data in there. So the first thing that we need to do is to go out and take some pictures with the BLK 3D of the doors that we want to make reference of. It's super easy to use. All you do is point and shoot. It's important to note that the subject that you're photographing needs to be fully in view in both the main screen and then the smaller thumbnail screen that you see there. That's to make sure that both cameras have the object fully within the uh, frame. To make things easier, I set up project folders for all the images, and I also took interior and exterior shots to make sure I get different perspectives. Now I need to transfer the images from the BLK 3D to the PC so we can work in the BLK 3D desktop software, and you do that with a simple USB cable. Now that the 3D photos are saved in my PC, I can access them through the BLK 3D desktop software. So we're looking at the dashboard now and you can see that all my projects are shown on the left hand side of the screen and we're going to select Tavco Hutto Warehouse because that's the project that we're working in. So all of those images have been brought into that object and what we're going to do is simply click on the front door. If I double click the image, it's going to open it up into the edit screen. And so I've already done this offline um, and was able to quickly add some uh, measurements. But this is a live photo that's on the web. And so anybody I, I share this to and, and, you know, looking at it now, I can take further measurements. So if I want to just check uh, the other side, of course, we know what that's going to be. Okay, it's going to take a second. It has to reload the multiple shots that we took, kind of stack those layers and make sure that the measurements are right. This takes just a second. Okay, so now that the 3D image is loaded and it's fully rasterized, then we can click that measurement point. Let me go ahead and click that again, and you get this little dot. Click one point, bring the line up, click another point. And when you're done, press enter, and you will see that it will calculate the data based on the 3D information built into the image. So now we can see 11 feet, nine inches, which matches uh, roughly the other side. So we have an accurate measurement with that photo. So the next thing that we wanna do here is we wanna put this into a shareable format that we can uh, publish to a link that we can incorporate within our Bluebeam workflow. And it's as simple as clicking this publish link at the top it's going to open up this other screen where it's actually creating the link now. It takes just a couple seconds. Okay, and now we can simply copy the link. Now, 
If you want this to just be view only, where you don't want anybody to write new measurements in there, you can just toggle that and turn that off. But we'll go ahead and leave it on for now. So select copy. It's saying that the link is copied. So the next thing we want to do is pop in over into Bluebeam. And if I go to this other tab, then I can see the version where I've uh, actually already created some markups. Now see, I've already done this for the back two doors and I'll show you how we're gonna do it on this front door, which the link hasn't been created. Um, so what I did here is just quickly uh, create a markup. Uh, in this case, it's just a text box with a yellow background. Um, and then I save that into my toolkit here um, and you can see that markup here. So once I created it, I drug it up into the My Tools area and now has a hotkey assigned to it, which is uh, the number nine. So anytime I hit the number nine, uh, this markup is gonna be at my disposal. So let me just hit number nine. There's the markup, it appears, and I'm just gonna grab uh, this area here, place the markup here. Um, and this is where I wanna create the clickable uh, link that is going to take you to that BLK 3D web. So what you do is you right click on the markup itself and you're going to go to this thing in the menu that says edit action, this command edit action. So when you open that up, it brings up this window and there's you know a lot of options you have, but what we're going to do is select hyperlink. So we want to link and I'm going to paste that link that was created by the BLK 3D publisher software and click OK. And now you have this little icon that appears next to this to let you know that there is an action item here. So if I take this, which is just a PDF file and want to share this with somebody, they can click this link and it's going to open up a new tab. It's going to go out uh, and I'm doing this within Bluebeam here. It's going to open up this image with the measurements that I took, but look, they have the ability to add things as well. So if I want to label this, I can use the text button and call this front garage door. Enter, oh, too far, go back click out of there. So now if I want to move this around, I have the ability to do that. So you can add uh, text boxes, you can add other measurements. Um, and again, I'm, I'm viewing this as a uh, as an outside viewer. And the same thing we did before, bring your points together. And then the BLK 3D web will use the data built into the 3D image to give you a calculation of the space. And that's how easy it is to incorporate 3D images into your Bluebeam workflow. If you have questions, need more information, our contact info is in the description of the video. So please reach out and let us know. Thanks for watching, we'll catch you next time.